The Furion Arctic 10 cubic foot French door refrigerator is a 12 volt compressor driven unit designed to maintain optimal temperatures in both the fridge and freezer compartments. If a component malfunctions, the refrigerator's control system triggers an error code, which appears on the control panel, helping users and technicians quickly identify and resolve issues. One of the error codes you might encounter is an E5, which is triggered by a compressor start failure. The most common cause of an E5 error is insufficient or fluctuating voltage. Since this refrigerator is designed to operate within a 10.4 to 15 volt direct current range, any spikes or dips outside this range can prevent the compressor from starting. In most cases, if the voltage is too low or too high, the system will trigger an E1 error code. But if the voltage is inconsistent or fluctuating, an E5 error may appear first. So how do we fix it? In an RV setting, addressing voltage irregularities requires checking several key areas. Shore power, is your RV receiving consistent power? Unstable voltage from shore power can cause compressor startup failures. The battery, is it correctly rated, installed properly, and in a good condition? A weak or undercharged battery can lead to inconsistent voltage. The converter, a faulty converter can create voltage fluctuations or insufficient power reaching the refrigerator. And wiring. Check for any loose connections, damaged wires, or shorts along the circuit branch that powers the refrigerator. If the refrigerator detects low or fluctuating voltage, it might enter lockout mode to protect the compressor from potential damage. To reset the system after ensuring proper voltage, disconnect all power sources, and that includes shore power, battery, and solar. Wait five to 10 minutes to allow the internal circuits to fully discharge, and then reconnect power and turn the refrigerator back on. If the E5 code is still present after verifying proper voltage and performing a hard reset, we need to dive a little deeper into the troubleshooting process. Next, check the amp draw of the compressor. Ensure the refrigerator is connected to a reliable power source. Set the temperature to the lowest setting and deactivate the automatic defrost function by holding the plus button on the display for five seconds. Wait for five minutes, then use a multimeter to measure amperage. During normal operation, the amperage reading should be between three and 12 amps. Now, let's talk about what those readings mean. If you are seeing 0.5 amps, the compressor is not running, indicating a potential failure. If the reading is between 0.5 and 2.5 amps, this indicates low coolant levels. Check the visible coolant lines and refrigerator body to confirm damage. An amperage reading of 15 amps and higher or a tripping fuse suggests a stalled or faulty compressor. If the amp draw is pointing to a failure or faulty compressor, the next step is to check for a short to ground. Disconnect the power to the refrigerator and detach the wires from the terminal assembly. Use a multimeter to test for continuity between the power wire, refrigerator frame, and ground wire. If continuity is found, that means there is a pinched or damaged wire touching the fridge frame or ground wire. We'll check the wiring at the compressor control board and the compressor itself. If you see minor damage, it can usually be repaired, but if the damage is severe, you may need to replace the compressor control board or the refrigerator. If the wiring checks out so far, we'll need to look at internal compressor issues. To check the compressor, keep the refrigerator disconnected from power. Remove the compressor control board and disconnect the three pin connector from the compressor. Use a multimeter to test for continuity across all three pins on the compressor. No continuity across any of the pins. That means the compressor's internal connections are loose or damaged and the fridge will need to be replaced. Continuity is found. Reassemble everything and test the operation. Sometimes disassembly and reconnecting components can resolve unseen connection issues. 
but if the E5 error still persists, it means that the compressor control board has an internal issue, requiring replacement of the compressor control board. By following these troubleshooting steps, you can efficiently diagnose and resolve the E5 error code.